We're going to try out Oaken today. Um, what else do I have to say about that? Nothing. I don't do exciting intros. I'm a little tired. You know, part of the content creation is you got to fake how uh, much energy you got. And I am. This is this is me faking it. This is me going above the top. Ooh. No, for real though, guys. Hello, welcome, 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 welcome. Twitch. I'm just pulling up chats. You know, you know how I do. I stall until I can pull up both chats, because I just don't. Should I turn the fan on? You know what? I'll figure it out in a minute here. Warhammer 40k. Or sorry, Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate. Hmm. Interesting. Hey, L. Uh, Day Nine is still playing Elden Ring. I like that. I mean, a lot of people are playing Elden Ring, but I wonder if he's playing Elden Ring because he hasn't beaten it yet. Day Nine doesn't seem like he would probably play through the game multiple times, and maybe he genuinely would. I don't know. I don't know this person that well, and just he seems kind of more like a one and done kind of guy, you know. Wham bam slam. Oh whoa, Black Betty Bam Lamb. You guys heard that song? By um, God, it's a cover. By who the hell does it? Now I got now I gotta look it up. Not run on sentence. For some reason they're in my head. Ram Jam is the original. And then cover? Maybe I, I think the one I'm more familiar with is the cover by uh maybe it's spider bait. Or Oh my god, this is someone named Betty Ray. I was pretty confident that was Jake Paul. I can't tell the difference between the Paul brothers. I mean, I probably could side by side, but I just don't know their names. I mean, I know Jake and Logan. Um, but, you know, I haven't seen one of their faces associated with one of the names, really. But, you know what, that's on me. All right, let's play some Oaken. I have no idea what this game is like. I, I, I mean, I watched Filthy Robot play it for like an hour. But, you know, I'm at work. I can't really pay attention. It was kind of confusing to see everything that was going on. So we're going to learn as we go. Let me know if the sound is good. If it's not good, eh. The lady has finally awakened but found herself surrounded by aggressive spirits. Oh, shit. Luckily, the Pathfinder is here to help. Objective, defeat all enemies. Wake up. Grab a brush and put on a little makeup. My lady, you've been sleeping for a very long time. You wanted to. All right, can we not pay attention to that? Uh, I mean, I want the tutorial, but I don't want, uh, I don't want story. We defeated these, we have to defeat these wild spirits. I'll help you if you let me, m'lady. All right. This is m'lady, your hero and avatar, as with all other units. Your stats and attack, your stats are attack and health. You will lose when your health drops to zero, m'lady. Each unit has a frontal arc, which shows the possible direction of its attack. Cool. Units can make a move and attack once per turn. In any order, maybe? Be careful not to leave your back exposed. Units can counterattack any number of times, but only if the attacker is within their frontal cone. Kind of an interesting to have a directional system. I feel like in a game like this, I feel like usually you would just be able to kind of go in any direction, like a Fire Emblem type thing, you know? Unfortunately, your enemies are hasten, hastened, which means they will be able to make an extra move. Holy shit. Move to one of the highlighted hexes by dragging the unit in question. You can always cancel an action with the right click. Remember to rotate towards the enemy by selecting an arrow pointed in its direction. Cool. Okay, well, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to... I guess you have to click hold and then release and we'll go like this um because this thing is protecting our flank here this card is a spell to cast a drag it onto a target the los line of sight extends for three hexes from the frontal arc of a unit and is blocked by non-allies okay deal four damage to an enemy i mean shit. oh it literally only sees three rows it doesn't see the it's kind of interesting to think that you could see here you could see here and here but you can't see here even though there's nothing blocking it very interesting cone of vision uh in this game i mean it makes sense but it just it, it i mean mechanically it makes sense the the concept of it seems a little silly but i'm okay with that nice shot by using cards and skills drains up your loomy 
Don't worry, though, as its pool will be increased and replenished at the start of your turn. There are no more actions you could take this turn. It's time to end it. Got this drink called Celsius Live Live Fit. It could be Live Fit, but it probably is Live Fit. Let's go on the offense now. Yeah, good luck trying to kill me, bro. Um, to attack, drag a unit onto an enemy. Uh, on one of the three hexes in a frontal arc, you can always press the undo button to make a mistake. Do they counterattack if we kill them? Looks like they do. Great, be careful though, as attacking it from the front arc triggers a counterattack. Now let's finish this. Summon, an ad summon me adjacent to an enemy. I'll send them flying where they belong. What do you got? You're a four seven unit. Awake deals damage to adjacent enemies. Put you right there. I did not expect this. It is non-carbonated green tea. Is there any caffeine in this? I thought it was an energy drink. Maybe it's not. I don't know. It's got juice, including green tea, ECG. Burns body fat. All right, I'll keep drinking it. This is really tasty. Okay. A friendly spirit appears to be in trouble. Objective, defeat all enemies. Protect the scared tinker. All right. Defeat all enemies, scared tinker. This looks bad. We've got nowhere to run. We have to stand our ground. Defeat the incoming enemies. You can hover over units to see their keywords and abilities. Automatic tooltips can be turned off in the menu. In this battle, you receive the side objective of protecting a neutral spirit, a little tinker. Finishing the side objectives grants bonus experience and rewards. Deals damage to one adjacent unit. Farewell. Activates the ability on death. Okay. So it explodes on death. The tinker here is probably safe. Daughter unit. A shooty can attack an enemy and it's line LOS after making a move. After making a move, it can attack only a melee. Okay. Can I literally put that anywhere? What the hell is this? Are you an enemy? Or are you like a spell? I'm just going to put this guy here. Oh, you can't attack the first turn, can you? All right, we'll put you here then. I mean, we got HP. I, I don't know if HP recovers in between fights, but assuming it does. We got a shooty. Watch it, buddy. Uh, Burrows summon hostile spirits and adjacent hexes. If the spawning area is blocked, enemies will be summoned further away. I mean, further away from that. So it means they will still be summoned, is what you've just said to me. All right, go ahead and kill that guy. And how much damage do you take? Zero. Didn't that say trigger on death deal one damage to everything? Yeah, but can you attack? Maybe you don't attack that. Okay. Farewell. Deals damage one to adjacent units. Farewell. Activates the ability on death. So we're at 12, so we should go down to nine, down to eight. Okay. I mean, defeat all enemies. Do we actually have to do anything? Has plus, plus, plus one, plus one while on green. Well, I don't see any of that, so we'll put you here. Thank you. It's about time. That was a long-ass fight. I mean, not like long, but it's like it just was like, it felt like it ran on. Outbreak. The first sight of the eclipse. Do not leave any... Purple, purple, purple gets perped. Do not leave any purple. Enemies have plus one, plus one on purple. Uh, to be able to go further, we need to cleanse the eclipsed terrain. It may anger the wild spirits, but we have to risk it. Hmm. Cultivation, create a green square nearby. Cool. You now have access to skills. Most levels have special rules. Got it. Okay. What is this? 
Step on it to become charged. Charge. Push targets with attacks removed after attacking. Hastened. As an extra move after... As an extra move. Fills its frontal arc with juice. Okay. Can you go... Can you not summon here? Oh, you can't summon adjacent to enemies, I suppose? Let's see what else we got. It has plus one, plus one while on green. Rotates enemies in its line of LOS towards itself. That's really fucking cool. We're still going to do this, though, I think. Just pop it, lock it. And now he's charged. Oh, we don't have enough juice. Okay, well, we're going to... All right, I mean, that's, this is, seems fine. We're doing, we don't even need to kill this guy. So if we move this guy here, right? In its LOS. Oh no, right? Oh no, that was so stupid. Oh, you can't. Is there a zone of control? Go ahead, bro. See if I care. All right. Well, we handled this fight badly, but it's part of the educational process. That's so cool. Like, it doesn't change anything in this fight, but I do like it. Get out of here, bro. I mean, it doesn't change anything in this specific fight, but we'll do it here. There we go. Hmm? Why can't we target this square, I wonder? Oh, it must be... It's not line of sight, but it must have like a range of two or something. I don't feel like it says that anywhere, but maybe. More coming. Run, run. All right, is, are we done with the tutorial? Because I think I kind of get the idea now. Summon someone to scare spirits away. Train by defending, as, defeating as many enemies as you want. Skip tutorial. Yes. Let's do this. Right, we're, we are the lady. And we have got you. I'm not going to look at that, but you must affect our beginning deck. Okay, we'll, we'll do the standard mode at least once first. Before we go to hardcore mode. Hey, kitty, you're very cute. What, you want to fight me? Huh? You want to fight? I'm just trying to be nice. I said aggressively attacking my kitty. Since this is the first time here, let me show you around. Remember, you can click the thingy. This is the world map. Yep, you have a deck. Cool. Uh, this is your deck. It contains all the cards collected during the current run. During battles, you will draw cards at the start of your turn until you have four in hand. Here, you can upgrade your cards with Wisps and Lumi Globes. You need to first find some, though. You can also destroy unwanted cards to gain Lumi Dust and use it to improve the stats of other spirits. Here's your guide and your unlock skills. Okay. Um, you can also preview your spirits in their full three-dimensional glory. Uh, okay, I want to see that. That's a penis hand. Oh, never mind. It's a penis hat. Okay. So what do you do? Deals one damage to enemies in its LOS and creates green under them. That's pretty fun. Um, okay, so upgrade, destroy, crafting. Can we just destroy something like impale? I, I don't think we just want to destroy anything. This deck is super simple. Two seedlings, two impales, two stalkers. This is definitely about creating green and then using green for power, right? This creates green. This is stronger on green. And this is just like... 
Deal four damage to an enemy in your LOS. Your meaning whose? In any of my characters or my main character, the lady? That I don't know. Create juice. Restore two L to a self or adjacent unit. Deal one damage to an enemy in your LOS. I mean, that's kind of bad, but... That's Lumi Dust. Cards in your deck. Enemies on green take one damage at the start of your turn. Ooh, that might be the lady special, huh? Or is that our, um... Aya special. Aya's, okay. Enemies on green take take juice. What is this? Battle. I think we start with a battle. Defeat all enemies, protect the scared tinker. Okay. You could choose which drawn cards to... One second. You could choose which drawn cards to replace at the start of each battle. Select the chosen cards and press the button above them to confirm. You can also preview. Okay. So there's a mulligan is what it's saying. Where do we start? Oh, is this us right here? On all the poopy? Okay. Well, I think we get rid of you and you. I actually like you. And what else are we going to draw? We're going to draw exactly that guy, right? I kind of want to go like... This... And then maybe we just cultivate... Are you a, what, okay? Let's see. What, what do you do? You're a shooty. We're gonna smack you. Um. Ah, the line of sight. The line of sight. You win some, you lose some. Okay. He took my Lumi dust. Okay. Well, now I'm just pissed. Ah. Okay. So this is my character's line. So we can move here. Well, yeah, yeah. I want to move here like so. I want to smack you. No, 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 no. Undo, undo. I forget that you have to look that direction. Yeah, because that was that would have been dookie otherwise. Okay. We're going to cultivate because um, someone's going to spawn there and then get hurt. This guy's already dead. We don't got to worry about it. Okay, they don't get hurt immediately, I guess. Does that count as your move? Interesting, okay. I mean, it's not, like, terrible, but... And you're not in my line of sign. Okay, yeah, okay. Ah, that is so... That, it's not, like, actually that annoying, but I'm just, like... It is annoying at the same time. Like, I just, I'll just i just get used to it, but. This is not your unit. God damn it. Damn it, Bobby. You guys ever watch King of the Hill? I haven't really seen it. I mean, I think we should just throw these guys down, right? That's probably wise, and we'll, we'll keep cultivating. There doesn't seem to be a downside to the purple, even though we're stronger. If this card has been used once in this battle, it is now unstable. If you use it again, it will become unstable for the rest of this chapter. Yeah, but what does unstable mean? <laughs> Knowing what unstable what is would be helpful too, I think. So we don't need to worry about like keeping our dudes alive. That is not our concern. It doesn't seem like. And in fact, you may not want to just use cards willy nilly. Awake has got to be battle cry, right? And it's LOS. That's so freaking cool. Honestly, like I really like that. Um, yeah, you're just gonna pop up here. We're gonna cultivate here. Go and heal yourself. I'm having a lot of fun right now. This game feels good. Shooty, shooty, shooty. Are these the last three? No, not quite. Uh, 
I would like you to summon here. Did one damage to each of them, right? Let's go. Don't even need to use my cells. After the burrows run out of enemies to summon, they will activate the silent fog. Ooh. Defeat all remaining enemies quickly. Your units will become fatigued at the start of each enemy turn. I don't know what fatigued is, but I assume that it is not good. I'm cool with that, though. We got some juice. Okay. Choose your rewards. Impale plus. Do we... This is just a brand new card. Deal four damage to an enemy in your LOS and push the target away or deal an additional two damage if it is ensnared or immobile. Eh, I like this strength thing. Create a link of two. I mean, that seems okay. I think this amplify seems pretty good though. You have found some Lumi dust. It could be used to increase the stats of units once for each triangle on a card. Okay, let's take a look. So not these, but these. So I'm the seedlings are kind of bad. These guys definitely seem better, right? 12 Lumi. Oh, I don't even got the Lumi does, bro. Maybe we could break some, get some Lumi. Um, we could, but I, I just think that's probably unwise at this point, honestly. It could be okay. Yeah, I heard I heard. This is a encounter. Encounter is different than battle, which is different than event, so let's do two encounters. Oh, maybe it's defeat all enemies, destroy all eclipsed lanterns. I'm not, I'm not, I don't fully understand. That's okay. Gains anger means activates on the, activates the ability on taking damage, regenerate, regenerates health at the start of its turn, reduce after triggering. So, okay. It, it means if you have five, that'll go to four, then three, but every time you hit it, it gets one. So fills adjacent area with uh, darkness at the end of its turn. Blocks the LOS and is immobile. Cannot attack or gain stats. So we just want to destroy this and destroy five enemies. Okay. Probably just going to... I think we're just going to... Can you do this to yourself? No. You got to give it to someone like this. We've only got three on our first turn, though. Oh, that other impale, though, only cost two, I think. So we've only got three. Which means I think I just... Oh, oh this is just like cards to redraw. Um... No, I, I, I like... Oh, and never mind. Okay, that was definitely one I was interested in keeping, but, you know, part of the mistakes. Mistakes have been made. Um, so we can go here, kind of a way so we can go here and get all of this. I don't love this. So instead we can do, th this is four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I think we instead pop this and then we just attack and deal with that for the first turn. And we got one more. We'll... Can you move? Cannot move after attacking. Okay. And then uh, go ahead and create uh, this here. If a guy spawns here, I think this thing every turn, right? Eats all the juice at the end of its turn. So it'll take a point of damage. And then that died because it attacked that. And then it creates all of its juice. But that's not too bad. I mean, this is not good, but it's not like disgusting. So I think I want. I think I just want to cultivate. Maybe I just heal. That won't be enough. What do you do? Yeah, plus three plus O on darkness, which is not what we want, but I think we um make him kill himself instead. Okay, never mind. He went he went sicko mode. He went straight around. The 
start cultivating. I think I want to cultivate all the way over here. That way I can put a guy down there. And we'll heal ourselves. And you're just going to look that way. Can you move? You can, but I don't think... There's, yeah, might as well move that way though, right? Because then you have to do that in order to do your thing anyway. So you can come like here, right? Then we can give you this. So you're normally a two four, but you're a three five plus three plus oh, okay. okay. Only one more enemy. So far, this is easy as shit. I mean, I mean, I know it's gonna get harder, but I mean, right this second, we're we're killing it. What do you do? Give nearby allies. Uh, Nothing, because you're dead. Look at that, level two, baby. I wonder if this is a progression. I wonder how the level up works. Oh, oh, this is actually leveling up within the run. It's not a meta progression. Plus one HP, plus one attack, and elusive. Cannot be forced to move or restricted from moving. What? Immobile? This is terrible. I think this could instantly make us lose, actually. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Never mind. The wisp isn't necessarily tied to our character. Okay, got it. You have found your first wisp. Each unit can be uh, enhanced with a single wisp. Spells and skills can also be changed to improve their version, but requires Lumi Globes. I mean... The seedling we kind of put into an aggressive position. You just get plus one, plus one. You actually get plus one, plus zero. You're actually like terrible. We'll, we'll increase the stalker. I mean, I like the stalker. And we'll get the distant. You know what? Let's just do it. Let, let's try it out. It's okay. It's, if it's bad, we'll figure it out. Do not let any allies die and defeat all enemies. I mean, that's the goal. Not let any allies die is actually kind of a... Um, we're going to redraw these two. We want to draw... And it's pretty easy to draw what we want at this point, but... Mm. We want to be careful, though, also. I think we just do more defensive stuff here. Can you cult? How far away can you cultivate? So you just have like an invisible range of two for your skills, it looks like. So if someone wants to attack you, they're going to take some damage too. I should have read what the enemies do. A unit... Oh, well, we, there, there goes our objective. A unit, a pushed unit is forced to move into an adjacent hex. It blocked, it'll collide, and both it and the obstacle will take two damage. All right, well, that is hunky-dory. Hey, it's the Plaid. Do you still play DQ Tact? I do not play DQ Tact anymore, friend. I apologize. But you know what? I hope you do, and I hope you're loving the game. I'm going to put you... Shooty. We're sitting at two juice. What do you do? Attacker, outsmart, pushes the target away. This is like weird and aggressive, but I'm just going to do it. All right, we got to put this guy down next turn. When did you quit? I quit tact like five months ago, something like that. Maybe, maybe longer, honestly. Um, nothing against tack that just wasn't uh, just wasn't interested in it anymore. We're gonna put you here. No, we're gonna put you. Is, is there any way to beat? I don't. I, I think you're. I think you're just gonna die. But we're gonna try. I, I gotta. I don't know if this guy could both hit you. Oh, these guys push back too. Oh, that was an. That was just stupid. 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 Then okay. Well, you know, part sometimes being stupid. Stupid is stupid. Cool. 
we don't need to worry about these guys because we could actually guarantee kill. Oh wait, never mind. They can move. I know they can move. Everyone, panic! Oh god. I am joking. We sh we're totally fine. Oh, can we play this guy whenever? This LOS stuff, man, is like brutal. We should be able to move here and attack you and then move you here. Oh, we could have actually killed that guy too. He would have been in both. Um, I mean, it's not a huge deal because they're going to die anyway, but still. Yeah, I'm just not much of it. I just uh, I just stopped having fun with Tact. But, you know, I'm always... Uh, I, I, I'm got nothing against the game for sure. Use one to upgrade a spell or two to upgrade a skill. Uh, increase shield receives less damage removed after taking damage. Okay. Gain strength one whenever a nearby ally dies. Let's just take the globe and come here to the deck. I want to take a look at the Lumi globe. Choose one out of three options, one out of three options. Okay, well, you know what? This is impales better, but let's go with amplify. If target is not yourself, gain strength equal to its strength. Mm-hmm. Give a target plus three regeneration. It seems, a, I mean, it's pretty good on yourself in this situation, then. We'll try it out. Protect Lumi Lanterns. Protect them. Creates up to two nearby green at the start of its turn and takes damage one for each one created. Well, I don't love that. So we got to surround this thing? I actually want to get rid of um, you and you. We want to get some units down, I think. wonder if we could do something like this. You can't really generate multiple, can you? We got... Yeah, we only have three on the first turn. Um, I still think we do this. I think we grab that next turn, and I think we cultivate this turn. Oh, wait, what is this? You know what? We could we could grab this now. Uh, and that's all of our juice. When it says nearby, I don't fully understand how nearby nearby is, you know? Three regeneration is pretty fucking good. Okay, so we just lost immediately. I don't understand how we're supposed to protect this. Not from their attacks, but the, the nearby thing. I don't know if that means adjacent. I don't like the terminology nearby. What does this do? Ah, okay, okay. Creates a wild niblet. Don't know what that is, but let's take a look at what a wild niblet is. All right, no big deal either way. You're immobile. I want you to be able to hit here. This is like perfect, actually. Oh, you can't spin, though. Mm, that actually is pretty rough. But you got four attack. No reason to do any of this stuff. I think we just come up here and smack this guy. Pop it. We'll create juice for you. Two adjacent health to yourself. Pop this guy down here. I think we're going to be fine. We're not getting any of this bonus stuff, which is probably like a huge deal. Did they, they not summon anything?
this is all fine. You smack him. You smack him. You got a shield, which lets makes you take one less damage, so you only take one point here. And then you move here. I mean, it's not what I wanted, but it's okay. It should work just fine. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Oh, well, it's not over, I guess. Boom. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I need to work on protecting those lanterns. That, that was obviously the, the hard part. Consume green under self and inflict exposure three. Receive more damage removed after taking damage. So it's like they take three damage from the next one. Oh, we just get a three, three shooter or a three, six defender with one, two, three, four, five triangles. Prevents enemies in its frontal arc from moving away or attacking other targets. Wow. Wow. That's so cool. I don't think that's enough juice to get them. I keep forgetting I could just use my super powered unit. Find a straight wisp, heal some fatigue. We don't have any fatigue, right? Maybe fatigue is our HP. We have 20 Lumi dust. How much does stuff cost? Okay, things get actually insanely expensive. Receive strength equal to receive overheal. Restore health to self or nearby unit equal to green adjacent. Um, I don't want any of this. I don't. I don't want this. I. I changed my mind. Let's just find a stray wisp. Cannot be forced to move or restricted from moving. That seems really good for the tank, but also growth feels really good for the tank. Let's uh, let's get. I, I think this might not be the meta decision, meta, but still. Growth is the overheal, right? Okay, so now we actually wouldn't mind getting that heal. I don't think. I am interested to see uh, if he gets more HP. Secret. This is, I how, how do you uh heal heal a dude? Okay. I did it. I mean, I'm just gonna put this here and then move here and then like so. Can you heal anyone? He has 18 HP. Okay, so we got to get him up to 18. We're actually going to be pretty bad at that. And this guy was awake. Where did our... Where did these go? Consumes all nearby green to regain equal amount of health at the start of its turn. Okay. That's not terrible. But we'd rather heal him like this. We'll put you down. That guy's my favorite. can't move okay 15 16 17 he consumed all the green like that was like on the map can we undo that i just want i just wanted to hit this guy i want to see if he consumes this green all the way from this far away okay so nearby must mean within two tiles
Oh, thank you, youngsters. Err. You have unlocked a new guide. Cool. Defender. Creates green under nearby units and restores three health to nearby allies. So, creates green under all nearby units, but it does also heal health to allies. He's got Miracle Cure as a trinket. Allies gain one strength when they regain health. I like that. Ugh. Turn on the span. It's getting a little toasty. I don't think we have enough juice for this to be good, so I think we look for a Wisp. <laughs> Has an extended frontal arc. I wonder if that means it's uh, everything besides the one square behind it. I actually really like that on the guy that spreads the juice. Elite. We haven't fought an elite yet. Let's see what they're about. Nightmares, delusions, spare, spare the deluded guardians. Okay, so leave the guardians alive if we can. Defeat the enemy hero. Your units can become fatigued by taking damage from voiceless foes or through event outcome. Fatigue reduces max HP, but don't worry. It is removed at the end of each chapter. This unit is an enemy hero and has some unique abilities and can be used, used cards just like you. Okay. You'll wake in three turns or on taking damage. So we're just going to leave these guys alive, right? Okay, well, we're going to leave it alive no matter what. We don't want you, you, or you. So we have a little bit of time to set up here. Um, we move here. Cool. And then we can even cultivate here. Okay, he's voiceless. So this guy will actually deal an insane amount of stuff to us. We gotta be careful. Now, what is this? Gain plus one, plus oh, and make a nearby enemy deal damn deal damage one to the enemy hero on death. So this is going to be aggro. Did you get corrupted? So now you got I wonder why that happened. Does that happen every turn that something's adjacent to it? Hmm. Well. I think we just throw you down here. I like this guy a lot. What happened? He does six damage, I suppose. So Vigilant basically does mean all the squares. What is this? I think we have to ignore that Lumi Dust and just kill the Elite. I don't understand this thing. Gain you gain one attack and make a nearby enemy deal damage one. So make sure make them give farewell deal one damage to me or whatever, I guess. I think we want to 
attack it all out next turn. You can't overheal, right? Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, no reason not to cultivate, I suppose. Like, here. I don't know. Maybe it clears that. Okay, so you use the spell, and then you attack. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to attack you for one. Attack you for three. Attack you for three. Attack you for four. We did spare them. I don't know if we took any fatigue there. It is kind of hard to keep track of what's going on sometimes. Allies on green rege regain one health at the start of each of your turns. I mean, that's good. Porn hub, the tripwire creepers. Pushed units take collision damage, even if they do not collide. You regain health equal to the cost of the spells you cast. I mean, this is probably slightly better, but our units are also fucking squishy. Also freaking squishy, bro. You get plus one HP? I don't know about that. What about you? Oh, are they fatigued? Is that what that is? The... Okay. I mean, that makes some sense, at least, I guess. I, I didn't know fatigue. I thought it only would trigger on us. So you just get one HP, you get one HP. I mean, it's all pretty bad. One HP hasn't felt very good yet. I'm not saying it's not. I'm just saying it hasn't felt very good. All right, let's try the boss. Fertile soil. All units have growth. Oh. I thought growth was something different. All right, whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out when we're in there. I thought growth was the overheal effect. Um, this is actually pretty good overall as to start with. Applies fatigue one on dealing damage with attacks and abilities. You cannot be fatigued. Creates purple on being summoned or moving. Because you've got growth. We've got growth. So I kind of want to do what I did last time. I think I want to move here. Get you here. Hey, what's up, the left? How you doing, friend? Hmm. Okay, so he actually gets minus one. Where does it say that he gets minus one, minus one? Oh, enemies, it's the opposite. Enemies on Dark Juice have plus one, plus one. Got it. So he's going to move and juice himself, which is kind of bad, but it's not terrible because we could recultivate him. You can attack him. Are you the Vigilance one? You're not the Vigilance one, but you can still do this. And then we get to smack this guy, and this guy just dies. And we heal every turn, too. Hey, 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 buddy. You are not supposed to go over there. What do you do? You do one damage to adjacent units? I mean, that's pretty nice. Thank you. Maybe we should... No, we're at five. We don't have enough to cultivate. You can attack here. You're going to go like this. Now, this guy... Prevents enemies in its frontal arc from moving away or attacking other units. So it could rotate, but that's it. But it has to attack him. So we'll get free reign on this guy's ass next turn. So we should move here. And you can't move, unfortunately. But I think this is still pretty strong. The graphic... This graphic indicates that something will happen. I, I forgot to look at this, by the way. Uh, will happen here after X number of turns. At the start of your, uh, at the start of the enemy turn, basic units are unable to appear on the battlefield if their hex is blocked, but more powerful foes like this Dusker will always deal with the obstacles somehow. Okay, well, you're gonna start moving. You can't move, but you can you can feel good about yourself still. So we've all got our juice being made. 
I mean, I think we juice this guy up too. Mm, I kind of want to say that for next turn. I might even just use it on this guy. And then we'll, um, I think everyone's at full HP. No, okay, we're, we're missing two. And then, yeah, yeah, let's cultivate mm, this orb, I suppose. Okay, he's moving. I hope you can't just hear my fan rumbling off like crazy. Because that would be kind of annoying. Where did my guy go? Did he actually just, how much damage did he take? I guess he took some damage. Um. I kind of like that. It does three, it does one damage to three things, but it's not like insane. You get one damage to adjacent units. I mean, that's super annoying. But whatever. You gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, I can't quite put him here. I think I can move. You can move here. And then I can move you here. I don't know if I want to, but I can. Probably should. And now I can move this guy here. I should have not done that in that order, but here, you know, here we are. So I think we'll just do one damage to him. I think we'll heal you. And you're going to wait back here because this guy's going to die. You don't want to get Delta damage for no reason. Yeah, we're, we're kind of we're kind of handling this very ugly, but, you know, it's whatever. So we had to attack that guy. He doesn't do that much damage, though. I think I want to cultivate you. All right, we did not leave any purple juice. We completed the mission. Is this fun? I mean, I'm having a, honestly, I'm having a really good time. It was only plus eight, so you still get the majority. I mean, I don't know how this adds up. 15 plus eight plus three, uh, that would be 26, right? Yeah, 15 plus 11, that's 26. However, oh, we now own a total of 50. Okay. So you actually got a pretty big uh, boost from doing that correctly. Fill a line with green. Allies become charged when pushed. I don't know what charge does. Push targets with their attacks. Okay, so it's kind of like they could do the same thing back. Rotates enemies in its LOS towards itself and inflicts exposure one on them this guy is really insanely good actually i think reclaim plus could be better we do kind of have like a lot of synergies with green but we have a lot of green generation too um this guy does something very unique though i'm gonna take this guy for now you have plus two minus two no you have drain during your turn no you have plus is zero plus three and defender uh I like this m the most. Okay. Um, I don't really care what path we go down yet. We do have 50 juice dollars, though. A 3-4. It's not, like, that much better. This guy could, could become pretty darn strong, though. So I do kind of like the idea of just, like... These guys all kind of... They just get, like, plus one... Or plus one plus zero or plus zero plus one. It's not like it doesn't feel super strong. I mean, I know it adds up. Gather as much loomy dust as you can and then escape. Okay. Creates loomy crystals or contaminated loomy crystals. We don't want you because you're five.
The falling rubble deals eight damage and destroys special hexes. Okay. Well. I think we piercing thorn. No. <clears throat> and fatigued. We don't want fatigue. Are you crazy? Okay, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna become fatigued. You've gotta sacrifice. You only have two HP anyway. It's not really that big of a deal. What is this? Oh, step on this to leave the battle. Understood. Okay, okay, well. Let's put you here. Nah, nah, we might as well put this guy here, right? Yeah. Ah, not on my line of sight. That is, though. This is, this is. They're all corrupted. Get them out of here. I don't want that corrupted shit. There we go. That's what I want. I don't want to leave there. I guess I come up here. Throw you down here. They're all fucking corrupted, man. That's Garbo. Okay, well, we'll put you... You could become corrupted. I hope I'm not getting the fatigue. I hope this guy is or something. Collect them to gain Lumi Dust and become fatigued one. I hope it's not us. I don't think it is. You're sussy. Thank you very much, Mark Davis. You're sussy too, man. Are you going to plop that? You're going to stop that. I'm grabbing all the Lumi. You guys can't stop me. You're going to cast that because I like it. You're going to cultivate right here because I like walking on green. And then we're going to leave. Thank you. Manipulative Wisp. Farewell inflicts weakness for on all attackers. On the attacker. Become hastened. Has an extra move removed after moving. Gain strength two. Deals more damage with attacks removed after attacking. So you have one good attack. But it's so hard to keep shit alive sometimes. I like... I like the sharp whips, wisp. I feel like HP is usually going to be better. I, I mean, I might just be straight up wrong. Wait, can we? Fuck. All right. Well, I didn't want that. I wanted to see that if I replaced it, if I would get the other wisp back and I could change it around. The answer to that was no. Look at all these fatigue motherfuckers. This guy didn't get fatigued, but these two did, I guess. But we are not correct. Yeah, we're still we're still popping. Don't mind me just popping. Look at that guy. Golden. You can't get any more legendary than that guy is. We're going to hold this for now. Um, do another event. Let no ally be hit by falling debris and defeat all the enemies. All right, we'll do our best. What the hell are you? A cleansing mushroom. Restores health three to nearby units, removes the de removes degeneration from them, and reveals a carving of might. Okay, so we kill you, we heal. And our goal is to not be hit by any of this stuff. You might as well take... Not to let any enemies die, just not let them get hit by the falling stuff. There we go. How about that? Motherfucker. What is that? I don't even notice this guy. Inflicts de degeneration equal to damage dealt. 
Degen degener I can't fucking say that word. Degeneration takes damage at the start of its turn, reduced after triggering or after regaining health. Reduced. So it's just poison. It's uh, essentially just poison streamer. I don't, what happened? I don't know what happened, but this came out of somewhere. We got pushed. Shit started going wrong. Maybe, I didn't look at what that guy did. Maybe he died and then pushed us. Or maybe the mushroom died and then pushed us. Four, five, six. We don't... So, I kind of want to just do... Three... Four... Just kill this guy... We get degeneration, which is not ideal. And we're going to take some big hits here, but... Let's not move yet. Let's see what we can do. We can't stay here. Staying here gets us killed. You're not a ranged guy, at least, so we can move you here. Like so. You can attack this guy and just heal. Did that do extra damage? Maybe. We have three left. Let's go ahead and cultivate. How far away can you go? You can go up to here. I really would like to get over there, honestly. Um, let's go ahead and cultivate here. I don't want to incentivize the enemy to move there, though. He's going to just die, right? Oops. I didn't I didn't see what he does when he dies. That's definitely on me. Pushes adjacent units. Units, units, units. Okay. Well, you're already dead. You're already dead. We're not worried about you. We are worried about you because we don't want to get pushed. But we could do this. Oh, you're, you're stuck here. You're stuck here. Okay. Well... I mean, just smack him then. I want to move here and attack this guy? Not really. Not much else. Like, yeah, yeah, I can come here like this. And then I can cultivate, like, a piercing thorns. Okay, well, I know he's not in my line of sight. There we go. Piercing thorns, cultivate. He's dead. And now with our last four, we could summon this guy here. And give him... Hey, let's give us the juice. Let's give us the juice. Did you give up on Echoes? I did not, Bilbo Swaggins. First time chat. I hope not, bud. No, no, no. I'm still playing it. I mean, I may not stream it as much. I don't know. But, I mean, I've, I'm using all my energy. All right, so they're all dead. You're also already dead, so we're not too concerned. All we have to do is move like so. And, I mean, we could also do something like this, I suppose. I am a little nervous about putting too many allies down. Unnecessarily. You could... I think you're immune to dying if you go here, but why? why risk it? Sorry, I'm on second account on my laptop. Don't even worry about it. I appreciate it. it looks like I got, I've got i had one more ch uh, chatter now. We're just going to hold, right? I, I Okay, we'll cultivate because I like cultivating. Because it's beneficial for my squad. And you do that. You do that voodoo. 
that you do. You're at 4-5 right now. That's pretty good. So we haven't used this really. Let's just smack him. You're, and again, he's already dead because he's underneath the thing. So we just got to... Oh, but we can't move because this asshole is blocking us. Okay. So we actually do want to uh, attack like so. Now there's only one enemy left. We're all safe here. Yada, yada, blah, blah. We will cultivate here. We will heal here. Doesn't do anything, but we'll do it. Twitch stream says you're playing EOM. Yeah, I, I can't change it when I do it the way I do it. And I just don't care about it. Because I stream on YouTube as well, and it won't let me... Streamlabs won't let me change my Twitch game unless I go do it manually. And I just don't typically care enough to do that, honestly. I guess I should change it, though. Oh. Oopsies. That's okay. We got that. Easy, we got the juice. Sorry, right, you know what? It's a good call. I'll go. I'll go manually switch it here. Um, what's this game called? Oak Oaken. Oaken. There we go. Oaken fold. No, not that one. There we go. Yeah, I, I guess it's it's more of a duty. I should do it because I don't want people to. I don't want to flood the wrong chat. Also, growth. Uh, I don't like growth. I thought growth was something different than it is. I mean, I don't really like any of these that much, but I'll take an aggressive wisp. On, I guess, a cool stalker. Sure. There you go. Have fun. Don't we need some juicy gems to get the... Um, I wonder if we... I kind of want to break something. All of our all of the cards are like reasonable. None of them I would say are like good, but they're all reasonable. Is there any stores? There is a refuge, so this is this is like the store. So let's try to make our way down there because I haven't been to one yet. Take the closest one. Become fatigued to receive Lumi Globe. Become fatigued to receive two globes. Become fatigued five. I will take some Lumi Globes, but let's be. Oh, these are the. Globes. I forgot actually. So if we get two of these, we can upgrade these skills. None of those skills seem that insane, though. No, those seem that insane. I think I'd rather just take a better impale. We're gonna hold it for right now. But defeat all enemies, protect all whatevers. We don't want you yet. Protect all hatchlings. They're one ones. I think we're going to fail this. Uh, I kind of like this actually a lot. I think we just, I think we just poke them. And we just move on with our life. What are you doing? Get out of here. <laughs> don't, don't come this way. Walk this way. No. Talk this. No, don't. So you'll cultivate here. And uh, honestly, we'll save the juice. I don't know if you save juice in this game or not. What do you do? Yeah, I don't like you, but you're not ranged, so it's not like that bad. And you can just move back up here. And I think I want you to do. No, I don't want you to be that close because that's kind of, it's kind of bad. You are the best with this, though. Maybe can we move? Can we move? No, we could put you up here, though. You might take some damage, but it'll be okay. That's right, he does create green wherever he goes. I mean, that is pretty nice. But he did take 3-4 damage, but now we're going to boost him. He doesn't heal immediately, though, apparently. 
So I want you to come up here. Mm, can't quite do that. This thing has just four fucking damage, bro. Get out of my life. I was very nervous that he might die from that. Uh, we still have four left. Let's go ahead and heal him too. We should have healed this guy too, but he's he's already healing every turn a little bit. Um, we'll put some more juice down here, I think. It's a little far, but I'm okay with that. Nightbot, shut up. This guy does, doesn't even get it. This will heal us, so we should be doing this. As there has to be adjacent. Three. You don't quite do enough, I suppose, but you can if we cultivate it. So you take two. Do you take an additional two? Do you get the degeneration? I don't think so. So you're going to move here. You take two. You did get two degeneration, which is not good, but we can cultivate here. We can heal here. We can move up here. You can move here and attack this. Good old Lumi Crystals. Oh, you actually have the insanely good uh, thing as well. Oh, you're not a... No, you are dead. You are dead. I'm mistaken. Um, let's go ahead and put you down because you're great. Yeah, we'll, we'll put you down too. You are... We have four enemies left. Farewell pushes away units. Reappears later if not blocked. Interesting. So you're a 5-7 that's going to really... We really don't like you. Like at all. Because you have her fucking five, bro. Can you get over yourself? Be careful. When a unit's fatigued, it reaches its actual max health. It dies and becomes unavailable for the rest of the chapter. Is he hit with fatigue? Oh my god, he is. He's voiceless. Well, you know. You gotta do what you gotta do. We're gonna smack this one. We got two turns on that. Um, we will heal y ourselves. Cultivate here, and the fox we'll use next turn. Guys, someone we really should have. Oh, look at he actually blocked our his own ally there. So that's not bad for us at all. Okay, we're gonna do this. Then we're gonna smack him. Oh, this is kind of annoying. Eh, it's not that bad. We just go here. You push us back, but that's okay because you're dead and you are... We don't actually want to kill you, but we can. It's not bad because we kill you and then we can move here. And then we can heal. It, we don't need to heal anything. We're fine. We should cultivate because cultivating is powerful. We should heal because healing is good just to be safe. Looks like you took damage because you were standing on that. I mean, I don't want to do that. Okay, but we can do this. This is the last enemy also, so we can move here. It looks like you might do double damage or something when you hit him in the back. I, didn't, I wasn't aware of that mechanic. Did we save all the guys? Replenish. Restore health equal... Help the self or a nearby unit equal to the green adjacent to, to it. I mean, that's getting better. The heal was pretty good that round. Hasten self and a nearby ally. Oh, also rem remove fatigue. I think that's probably insanely good. This is actually pretty decent. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't love it. Removing a green to deal one point, three points of damage. It kind of feels like it's not that much better than just hitting them with the four points of damage. We might do the rest, but let's take a look. Elder Seedling, is it different? I mean, fills its frontal arc with green. It has Defender, I guess. That might be it. Mm. 
Can attack any enemy in its line of sight. Vigilant. I mean, vigilant's good. I want the Lumi Globe. Oh. In my mind, we'd be able to, we were able to do multiple of those. However, it seems that I was incorrect. I think we're just gonna upgrade him. Pale. Drain. And snare. Um. Push the target away. I like. I think pushing it away is pretty good. We'll take this one too. So we can and we can push it to deal the extra damage. I would have liked to. You know what? I think we're, we might get rid of a seedling here. Mm, you don't actually get that much. Maybe we won't. I wonder if this will. Uh, let's just try. I want to know if that would get rid of fatigue. It does not seem to. Let's keep giving this guy his juice. He's fully, he's fully waked. He's yoked. I don't think the growth is very good on him. I mean, it means he always heals, but I only have that on him because I just genuinely didn't understand. Is there a story to this game? There probably is. I just don't care at all about story in video games for the most part. There's some times that I do, but this is a case where I kind of don't. Fight and become fatigued to receive Elder Crawler. The next node is chosen randomly. It's a four mana, five, three unit. Pushes a target. I don't know. Not. I mean, it's cool. Okay, so this is like the super version. It also has mobility. So it can move twice. We're just going to take the normal crawler. It's almost like a hybrid spell that also absorbs a damage. I don't think I think the elder version is oh randomly meaning literally anywhere. They did not only take our ability to heal fatigue away. When it said randomly, I assumed it meant randomly out of the possible options, but no, it really meant random. By the way, the lep, I really like your videos, so I hope you keep making them. Defeat or block all enemies. Do not let any crawlers emerge. Do not let any crawlers emerge. I'll do my best. The health we don't need right now. What we do need is two cost units. This guy is not exactly what we need, but we might draw that five cost guy now, which is kind of a dead draw. We'll push away adjacent units. Reappears later if not blocked. I mean... I really don't want to get hit by that. This be f so if he hits this guy, it'll do four. And he's going to take five. I think I move here and just poke him. Then he dies next turn. Eleven. Defeat 11 enemies. Don't let any of them emerge. Bro, get out of here. Well, he is already dead, so that might be a help. So we can move again. But I think we move you here. I don't know if the emerging uh, deals damage. I don't even know if I have enough fucking units for this, actually. We'll find out. It did. It did two damage to each of them. That's okay. What? Why did you not move here? In fact, I'm actually going to do this differently. I'm going to move. You're going to move down here because you're going to create more green. And you you have the haste ability, so you can move here and then move here. And that will heal you at the end of the turn.
We're going to move you here. I don't know if I'm going to keep you there or not. We should... I want you to attack that. And I do want to recover your HP. Oh, can I ever heal you? No, no, no. You're too far. Thank you. I just made one of memory gems today, and I'm going to work on another about gear next. Really busy tomorrow through Saturday, so don't know if I can get it posted this week. I hope you do, but you know what? Your videos have editing and shit, so it definitely is, I understand that it takes more time. My stuff doesn't really take any time because I don't really put that much effort in. Not that I don't like putting effort in, but your videos are obviously higher quality, so you can't churn out quite as many, you know? One, two. We can't get that far in one turn, right? Mm, can we can you move over here and can you move over here oh you even pushed your allies away too for some reason I didn't consider that um, we'll actually give you this will heal you some extra juice as well This one's going to be a problem. We got to move here. You know what? Let's just use this guy. I never use him, right? And he's expensive. You don't need to be over there. You can go this way. This is a very weird mission. I actually, this is like kind of cool, but also it's just kind of boring. It's just a little too long. For this specific level. The Lumi Globe. I don't think we have a reason to have Lumi Globe right now. I don't think we have any enough things in our deck. Grants one strength whenever a nearby ally dies. Gives one strength to self and nearby allies. It's just way better. I mean, might as well just throw it on... You don't have a wisp. I mean, I don't even know if you could use use it yourself, honestly. So we do have a couple things with fatigue. We should be able to. We should have been more careful about trying to heal that fatigue. We can only use it once per fight, though. Resisting temptation to use all the uh, transitions and stuff. I mean, sometimes that stuff's all like real good and fun, but yeah, it could take a lot of time. Once you like, when you start editing, it becomes an immensely difficult process and very time consuming. And the payoff isn't low, but it's short. You know, like editing a it took me you know an hour to edit a 40 second clip before because it was for like a youtube shorts and I mean, it's mostly because i didn't have experience but you know that that kind of stuff if you're not super experienced does take a long time we're starting here we got a 40 hp anger summons a hollow orb lane nearby with delay two meaning after two turns okay Weird is going to try to nuke this thing down. We got to destroy this thing. Literally ASAP. We don't want you, you, or you then. You're not act. I mean, you're good. But you're not exactly what we're looking for. You are also not what we're looking for. But this is what we got. So. I don't want you to be anywhere near these enemies if you can avoid it. Can you be like here? What, how much do you hit for? You hit for two? And this will start. I really actually should have cultivated here, huh? Okay, you deal damage four to adjacent units and inflicts ex exposure four on them. So if we put you behind something, we could shove you into this. They would each take two damage. It's a little... Not much is actually happening if I do that, I don't think. We need to kill this guy. I don't have a good way to do that. Because I don't have anything ranged.
Object is immobile, right? Cannot attack or gain stats. Okay. This thing is just gonna fucking die, man. Ugh. These hexagons looking cool. Hey, Fizbo. Sorry, why did I say Fizbo? It's Fibso. Um, honestly, it is. This is definitely like a puzzle. I'm trying to figure out what exactly do I want to do here. This guy is threatening my way of life. But I don't know how to stop him. I could use this guy, but it's not exactly ideal. Oh, this, is it, this guy a shooter? I did not know this guy was a shooter. This guy is way better than I thought. I have been neglecting to use good attacks. This is a this is a fight. This is there's a reason this is an elite fight, no doubt. This guy hits for eight because right he attacks and then he then he might die and then if he dies, it's a bunch more. So I might just sacrifice this guy. I could also just throw this guy down here, push that guy over there so he blocks that. He'll take two damage and I can cultivate it. Okay, I think this is the play. I I don't have enough mana. I'm one mana short. Whatever. I'll be a mana short. If I had one more mana. Why did, why did I think he was going to take damage? I guess. You know what? It doesn't matter. I didn't know what I was talking about anyway. Um, We're going to get hit hard. No doubt. Oh, did we summon this guy? Did he do the give strength and nearby allies? Okay. I mean, that's pretty nice. We're just going to do this for now. And this guy, if we go up here, he's just going to die. So we're going to hold back. I, I'm getting my butt kicked. Hey, Jaws Paul, how you doing, friend? I mean, I'm getting destroyed right now. Holy crap. You explode and kill that, though. So you have this cool chain reaction. Um, and this guy actually got cock blocked here, it looks like. That's pretty nice. Huh, nice. Um, Awake deals one damage to enemies in his line of sight and creates green underneath them, which is actually enough to just straight up kill... Um, this guy these guys don't have their only crossing line of sight is right here but that would just get him fucking obliterated so we probably don't mess with that this guy, these guys are pretty much they're not literally dead but they get dealt one damage at the end of the turn so i'm less concerned okay so they'll dig up here so if you block this you'll take two damage but it will cause it to not spawn six we could do six ten and we're not like that far off of just going straight up sicko mode and going lethal how much juice do we have we have three juice so maybe we use this guy to chain reaction all this stuff like, just smack this. I don't love it, but it kind of keeps us a bit safer for, like, a turn. And then we could put this over here to block. And we can cultivate that. I don't know if we need to cultivate it. We can cultivate it next turn. We could also just hit this guy for five damage this turn. We're this are we're getting blown up here almost though. Right? He's gonna do f three. Oh, this guy only does one damage. Okay, so he's gonna hit us for three, then four, probably five, six. We're probably gonna hit for six, but we're, that means we're still probably not dead. We're gonna. I don't know if the one extra point of damage is gonna matter. We're just gonna pop. It, 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 I don't think it matters too much either way. Oh, he actually took the damage from the end of the turn thing. Interesting. Okay. Uh, pretend I know what I'm doing on YouTube and assume I've, er, oh, and assume I live redirected. What did I miss? JP raid? Oh, JJP raid. I'm, you know what? I'm so fucking into this game right now. I, I miss, I'm terrible at, I'm terrible at YouTube. I'll be honest. That's kind of how the Platt lives his life. He's just terrible at YouTube. But you know what? That's part of my charm. People think I got all the charm. All right, let's just, we're either going to lose the run right now or we're going to win. We're going to win. Not win the run, but we won the fight. I wasn't sure the fight would end immediately upon destroying that thing. That was a fight. Like, it was, it's so, 
it's so remarkably puzzly as opposed to just like if I'm thinking of like uh Hades binding of Isaac um even Slay the Spire Slay the Spire feels very much like um you know it's a deck building game feels very strategy and there's strategy here but it's it, it, it feels I don't know just I don't want to say Rubik's Cube because I'm not trying to say I'm smart because I'm not but um but it definitely has a lot of um it just a lot of moving parts it definitely feels more like you're a puzzle game almost with roguelike elements Allies regain health when green is created beneath them, or green are created under enemies that take damage. Or, I mean, that, I mean, Pornhub. I do kind of like the Pornhub wood, but I think the Oaken Sword. Allies gain strength when green is created underneath them. You're pretty bad at YouTube too. Hey, you know what? You're probably you're probably better than me. I mean, your your subscriber count would imply. Um, defeat the enemy hero. Let no ally be hit by falling debris or the center of the enemy hero's attack. Why? Just allow no allies to do anything. I do not want this. I do not want this. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them. Sam, I am. So what does he do? Farewell. Pushes units away. I guess he has the ability to summon other units. Are you immobile? will burrow at the start of its turn huh okay i mean i don't like that at all but uh so here we are can't cultivate them uh but we what we can do is just start summoning units and hoping for the best all right i'm gonna cultivate underneath them just in oh he's gonna have to move guaranteed next turn right oh hey asshole I'm guaranteed to take damage here. Maybe it just pushes away, though. Oh, the occupant will take damage three and be pushed away. Or the occupant will die? Someone tell this guy to get a job. What a fucking asshole. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to cultivate here. It would be really nice to have a unit to summon right now, but, you know... And we have this guy. But he's not exactly in a spot that we want. He just dies there. I'm putting him here anyway. Fuck it. I never I never use this guy, and I'm pretty sure he's good. Hey! Or advance. What's advance? Activates ability upon moving or being pushed. Okay, so you can go like this, right? What happens if you go like this? Okay, nothing. That doesn't count as moving. At least you could redo. Man, this is so annoying. Because I can't hit both of these guys. But this guy's more important. Oh, he's immobile. He's immobile. He can't be moved around. He can't be rotated or pushed. He's a... We got a badass, everybody. What was that? Collapsing cave. All right, so... We can summon... I mean, we could... You know what? Let's do this. Sorry, bro. I don't like you just straight up dying, so what we're going to do... I assume this guy doesn't attack. I think he just does the burrowing thing. We're going to cultivate. Mm, but you're going to move first. Eight damage is pretty darn good. We heal two of the five. Maybe even more, I guess, because we only took one somehow. Math. All right, this is definitely not ideal, but I don't think it's like, I don't think it's like detrimental. So we want to surround, what is this? Okay, we want to surround this hardcore. I think we want to move here. I think we want to move here. I think you want to move here. Obstacle, that's not good. Um, you want to move here. 
Then I think you do. Is this heal based on the amount of green? I think it does. Um, we could even summon this guy. We only have six, though. I think this is better. I'm gonna cultivate there to deal the damage. We could even just heal here. I kind of should save it for this guy, I think, but he's kind of not doing that much right now. We could, I mean, we have some more juice. I'll just use it. And we'll just, I don't know. Take that. Okay, so we can actually hit this guy right in the fucking back. Oh, but you can't move here. That's pretty, that's pretty lame, honestly. But it's okay. You hit him for three. I thought you were my ally. It appears that you might not be. When I say it appears, I mean you're definitely not, by the way. It makes you move down there. I really want you just to die, though. But I, okay, let's, let's think. This guy always dies here, unfortunately, I think. Because this guy pushes away, which actually does two damage because he's on the edge of the map. So even if I smack this guy, he's just, this guy's going to die unless I move him first. But I could just move him and attack, which might just be better. I mean, he'll die, but he'll get six damage in. And then I can maybe use this guy. I don't want I don't I don't like I don't like this. He did also take the two. You take the three. Now we can move in and hit for five. This seems pretty good. Apparently I healed for one because I have re regains health at the start of its turn. Maybe it's because our max health is decreasing or something at the same time. No, because we have the drain. The drain scales with our attack. Okay. So I think we save the impale. Well, that does four. That's five. He's going to take six. So he's not dead. Or is he? Wait, we can attack with this, right? This exposes? Why did it get exposure two instead of exposure one? Wonder if that's like a bug. Okay. This game is I, I bet as a viewer this game is like shit. I bet it's like really hard to understand what's going on because I'm playing it and I barely know what's going on. Inflict weakness two and exposure two on adjacent enemies. Ah, but also inflict uh degeneration two on targets. So maybe the target is not all the adjacent enemies. Maybe it's like you target something and then those adjacent. I'm, it's kind of hard to tell, but I'm going to take this because I like the sound of it. You have plus one, minus one, and our shooter. Poo, poo. Um, shooter is very good. And we have a lot of HP and we have drain. I think this is great. Um, I think the thorn thrower is definitely like a great call there because we already have a lot of HP. So I think I want to go to... I mean, I don't... I'm not sure... I think the crawler is kind of insane. I assume it gets plus two, plus two if you use all the juice on it. Yeah. Okay, I want to try what... I want to see what sap does. This is my very first run, so yeah, I don't expect to be great. Oh. Channel, reduce the cost of spells. What? Reduce the cost of two spells. I'd like to do that. Um, we Obviously, this is the very first thing. We don't want to do that. Receive two wisps. I think we upgrade a spirit. I guess we don't get to choose, though. Oh, we do get to choose. Okay. Do I get to see what he turns into? I mean, this is definitely our best. Is he elder now? He's a 7-8. 
attack also makes an uncounterable attack against other units in its frontal arc. Oh, I, I didn't even notice that. Okay, maybe maybe that did tell me there. So now when he attacks, he hits in a cleave, and these two on the side don't trigger anything. What's all this, Pack Demon? This is a game called Oaken, and I'm not going to lie. It's a little hard to follow, especially as for a viewer. It's kind of hard to follow as a uh, as the creator or, you know, as the streamer as well. But it's a deck-building roguelike puzzle RPG masterpiece of, uh, you know, you know. You understand. Okay. Honestly, I barely understand. So what do you do? You do outsmart. Pushes the target away and consumes all green adjacent to it. Wow, real fucking intelligent of you. And you're voiceless, which means he does permanent fuck you damage. Um, luckily, I think I can kill him, though. What's our objective? Defeat all enemies, destroy the lantern? Sure. I don't know. We want you to stay right there. Yeah, but I want you to attack. Okay. Okay, let's undo that. Can you not attack on turn one? It says you can. Why can't you shoot him? After making a move, it can only attack in melee. Got it. So why... Game. You insist on fucking me. Three. I just, I can't do enough damage to this thing. Yeah, I can. Let's, let's try this. Let's see if I can just, this, this should kill it. Okay. Trying to get too cerebral up in here. Of course, enemies do choose to spawn behind me, which is always uh, awesome. Okay, where do I, this guy's a shooter, so I want to position him somewhere where he's going to be able to hit. I want to go like here, where he could always hit this, and sometimes he'll be able to hit something like that. But if I go somewhere like, hmm. Attack, become charged and hastened and gain strength one and shield one. Okay, this guy sounds insane. Becomes charged. What does that mean? Push to the target with the attack, removed after attacking. So after he attacks, he gets charged and he gets hastened. Then he gets shield. So he doesn't actually do that much initially. I think I want to move. If I move here, though, this guy's going to fucking doink me, though. Maybe I just move like this. I kind of, I, I need to be somewhere like here. No, I don't know. This is just like a weird ass map, I think. Um, we could just put you here. That way this guy can't just, um, I mean, he will be able to smack me, I suppose. But at a point, I think I gotta just accept it. Oh, but it's this guy isn't even in our line of sight. Oh man, th man, this shooting, this shooting thing where you're starting in the center is fucking awkward as shit. I don't even, you know, whatever. We're, we're, I don't want to undo every move. I do think it was kind of an odd decision on my part, but I think it's gonna work out. So I want to move you like this. You do heal when you do that, though. That's pretty nice. Um, strengthen, shielded, do that. And then I want you to... The fox is not super good. But you do want to cultivate here. Uh, just do this, right? The thing should be basically dead, I think. You have two juice left. I think you grab your own power here, and then we move on. Yeah, this is this is great. So now we can just kill this guy because we're arranged now and we haven't moved. Wink. Goodbye. You will die. What does charge do? Pushes the target. I don't. I don't want to push this guy, but it does kill him. It won't kill him on the attack. It'll die. Oh no, because the push, it actually won't kill him. The push is negative, so I gotta move here if I want to kill him. 
we don't need to it doesn't matter if our guys die or not these guys aren't voiceless right no so we're, we're totally okay with things dying we do have to kill nine more enemies so it's not like super ideal but hey undo that please Okay, so we want to cultivate down here. I can't really do that. You're not the... You gain two strength. That's actually pretty good. We'll just cultivate there for now. It's not, like, ideal. Um, can't quite heal that guy. Can't quite do anything here. That thing's already going to die. I'm not too concerned. I mean, we're not doing anything with our juice. Might as well pop this down, I suppose. Why? Oh, this guy creates... Mm, okay. Well, we're just going to pop it then. I think I want to do this. It's only plus two? How much does this heal? Oh, maybe three is your max HP. Yeah, that's why. Well, we might as well not use the heal on you then. You, the shield might keep you alive. I honestly don't know. But this will definitely kill you. And you're just going to move down here. You're going to smack this. Definitely not ideal, but it's not like that bad. I think everything else is fine. We'll keep cultivating. That's a very good ability. I know Cultivate is like mana efficient wise, probably not like insane, but. Wait a second. You're a four six. I thought you were a four four for some reason. Okay. Um. Okay, so we're going to poke you and then we'll slice you and then you'll die. We still got to kill six enemies so we're not like in a huge thing we'll be able to kill that next turn we do need to play cards in order for shit to actually like die can we put you like man if we could summon that dog somewhere else okay we're just gonna smack you we're gonna put the dog here yeah this is a little sketch do you push things back on death? No. When you attack, you do, though. We probably could have just played this guy. That might have even been better. Okay. We lived. I really want you to... um. You don't do anything. You just die. Oh, you do push. What? Oh, because it counts as an attack. Shit. Okay. So you can just kill that guy. You don't die. You're fine. But if I could put the dog somewhere better, that might be awesome. Put this guy here. He auto-grows himself. How come that guy could move? Hmm. I don't know. I, I must have missed one of his abilities. Um, boink, just do some awake damage and then just kill this guy. Oh, we should have grabbed that for sure if we were going to win that turn. Um, choose your reward. Aid. Give shield four to self or nearby ally. Eh, I don't know. None of these seem like amazing. Can I just not? Can I just not? Do I have to take something? I guess there's no reason to not take something. Because we could take this warden, right? And then we can go into our deck. And then we could take our weak warden down here. And we could just go pop. The seedlings have been doing pretty good. I 
I'm actually surprised at how powerful a lot of these, you know, quote unquote weak units are feeling. Dripping resin. Escape. Find all friendly spirits. Eh, I think we might just leave. Oh, we got we have no choice but to escape anyway. This is actually, no, nah, I mean, this is, this, that spell I thought was really good before, and now I'm kind of, I'm kind of off of it. Deals more damage with attacks. Okay. It gains strength equal to damage taken. Well, I should have read this. He is going to get strength plus one now, but you know, whatever. Screw that guy. Let's go ahead and do some AOE. What did he do? He just moved. What a weirdo. I mean, just don't even do that. Just attack him. He doesn't even attack back. Um, resin will begin falling soon. I mean, there's no reason to... Can anyone leave here? Because these are all going to die. Can you, um... Alright, let's, let's start here. This is actually pretty good. We could put him right here. Yeah, I mean, depends on what's in here. The dude. We could do four. That is six. Why? Because it pushes him. Four, five, six. Okay. Receives plus two, plus two when the unit becomes entombed. Oh, he receives minus two, minus two when a unit is released. Interesting. So we could potentially do something... Might acute, but let's just... Oh, let's not actually kill him if the Entomb guy comes out, right? I mean, maybe, then again, maybe it, maybe it doesn't. Not always. And we'll cultivate... Uh, I don't know, here? Does anyone have any moves left? You do, actually? Mm, okay, you come here, then. You're fine. You're fine. We're out. Uh, I got an achievement. Ambers are not forever. Destroy four amber prisons in a single turn of the Amber Falls. Got it. So we're looking for friendly spirits somewhere, right? <laughs> you would think, based off the terminology that there is. Let's just put you here. Ooh, actually, you know what? Boom. Foxy boy. Mm, I don't want to go. Does this guy have vigilance? He is vigilant as shit. What? What? What would happen? Entombs the attacker. I, I didn't. I literally didn't even notice that. What's this gem? Oh, you become entombed. Okay, that. I mean, that makes more sense at least. Okay. So, I want to cultivate this. I mean, heal yourself, I suppose. I don't really want to let that out. I don't want to be... I definitely don't want to be fatigued, but I guess we just release our guy, right? Okay. I mean, I gotta see what's down here. Oh, 
Oh, that's right. I didn't summon this guy last time. Oh, hey, there's something good. <laughs> what the heck? Something good can come out of these? Unbelievable. Okay. I don't think there's a time limit on this. Resin will begin falling at the start of the enemy turn. I mean, maybe because enemies, the enemies aren't getting turns. Let's um ping this. We just attack this guy and kill him. And he can't even counterattack. Is this not what I was supposed to do? Oh, is there? Is it literally the last thing in here? I don't want this guy fatigued. Um, let's actually not do that. Sorry. Let's go ahead and poke this. Hey, we found the friendly spirit. It just happened to be literally the last one. I don't know if that's coincidence or if it's scripted to be the last one. Oh, what? Do we have to end it? Okay. I guess we have to manually escape with our hero as well. I don't really like that. I think anyone should be able to escape, but... Um, Awake gains, re gains regeneration 3. Anger deals damage to attacker. I do like the regeneration. Helps keep you alive. Use one upgrade... I don't think we have literally any spells that can be upgraded. And I don't feel like these upgrades are significant enough. Um, the wisps are pretty good. Like, if you don't have a unit with a wisp on it, you might as well take a second to upgrade it, I think. And again, maybe not these units. I, maybe I should have considered. But the growth thing is pretty bad. I think that's better. All right. Dense Amber. Let no ally become entombed. Defeat or entomb all enemies. Defeat or entomb all enemies. How the fuck do I entomb an enemy? Resin is extremely dangerous. It can entomb you, making you unable to do anything, even summon spirits. Remember that you will only lose if all your units are entombed at the start of your turn. This knowledge may come in handy soon. Step on it, become entombed. All right. Well, don't do that. Receives plus two plus two when the unit becomes entombed. And minus two minus two when it was released. Okay. What does he actually do though? Him entombing the attacker is pretty brutal. We could have hit him for three. Like, I don't hate that. It's not very good. But it's better than the other shit we're doing, right? Does he just move and attack for five, though? Like, that's pretty... That's pretty intense. I don't think he can get around that. So we're going to cultivate. And this should be fine. You do get entombed, but that's, like, not disgustingly bad. Falling resin. Okay. So I think you pop that I guess you can't easily pop it can't you? you can do three four five six is a lot this guy is actually gonna be fantastic here though right because someone's gonna spawn you're gonna be able to toss it and just like do your do your thing I guess we're just gonna pop this oh it is release them I suppose okay Go ahead and just give him some juice. He'll heal a little bit too. Okay, so now this is easy. We could just pop this guy here. Ignore that. Let no ally become entombed. There's a guy that on death entombs. What, did, what the hell did you want from me? What does this guy do on death? 
you you waste your time. That's what you do. I will heal and feel good about it. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and. Oh, we can't. Uh, let's do that. Does that get rid of that? No. All right, so we do got to watch out for their falling resin. But yeah, no star, or whatever, you know. You don't do anything as we heal. Can you, um, we should have been a little more, maybe a little more careful there. I think I'm okay with this. That is one, two damage. And uh, I think you're just going to move like so. And we're going to go ahead and do this. And you'll just smack this guy. You'll live, but I'm not happy about it. Hasten's nearby allies. There are no nearby allies. You do a really annoying thing. But we could do this. Weakness does... Deals less damage with attacks, but not less than one. And then he'll take two additional damage and he gets disintegrated. I mean, let's just try it. I never use this spell. And we don't have really a way to push him, so we're just gonna we're just gonna maintain that, I think. I think we give you and then you come up here and we give you this. Almost enough to just straight up kill him. Actually, this might be enough to kill him with the... Yeah. Yep, 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 that was. Pretty sick. Oh, pretty sick. Um. Yeah, just take six. Then take... What? Does Entombing... Entombing must deal damage? Because... This should only do five, right? And then I guess the Entomb will... I don't know why that would kill you. Uh, but we have to kill five more units, so I don't want to just, like, let you die. We'll go ahead and do this. The Fox is pretty sick. Keep... Gotta keep it cultivating. Hey, hey! I didn't even check for that resin. Luckily, we're fine. Haste and allies. Eh. You actually might be way scarier. Eh, no, never mind. We got a ranged guy here. Cool beans. All right. I mean, I guess we're just going to throw you down in super cool town. Maybe we can move here and force a guy into the resin, you know? Maybe not. Maybe he'll be forced here. Whatever. Same thing. Take cultivation, nerd. No, he didn't even spawn there. He spawned all the way up there. Okay. Are you going to kill your own ally? You actually do kill your own ally there, huh? I mean, that's honestly funny. Master Shooter. They call me a master baiter. I'm good at baiting out those attacks. Elder Bublet. Attack or farewell. I guess it's not and. It must be and. Attack and farewell, I assume. Restores health equal to its attack to adjacent allies. So you summon it. It does nothing. It is a two mana two four, though, which is actually isn't bad. Awake inflicts weakness two on enemies in its LOS. It is elusive. Elusive is not terrible, but it is still not like... I don't think it's incredible. The Tinker is actually pretty incredible. But I think the Elder Bublet here is a little bit better. I don't want to fight Elites. We're getting close to the end, I think. Wade. Push self or a nearby ally onto an unoccupied hex. Eh... How's our fatigue? 
We got a little bit of fatigue. Will it heal fatigue from everybody? Let's take a look. No. Okay. So that's kind of a waste. But now we know. So I kind of... A two mana two four. I'm not so sure how I feel about it. Is it better? I don't know if it's better than anything. I don't know if I want it in my party. I think we're just going to pop it. I really wish you got HP first. All right, I mean, everything seems to be pretty buff right now. Um, okay, we're fighting an elite no matter what. No, 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 we're not. Like, boom, 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 boom. We don't necessarily have to fight an elite. Defeat all entombed enemies. Have at least two enemies entombed at the end of the battle. Who cares? We're done caring about those objectives. We don't want this. Oh, we actually do really want that. That's insanely good for this fight specifically. Um, we don't really want you, though. And you're probably okay, honestly. I think we just killed this thing first. What does this do? Deals damage to adjacent living units and inflicts uh, degeneration one on dealing damage. Hmm. Is it ever worth it to just attack that instead? I think we still just kill this guy. And then call it a day. Move on. All right, well, we lost somehow. There's the end of our run. I don't know what happened. Literally, I don't know what happened. How did we die? All right, let me think. What happened? We didn't get hit by resin. This guy can't hit us. Why did we get entombed? Oh! Entombs the attacker. We did it in the wrong order. We did it in the wrong order. So that's how quickly a run can end, I suppose. Uh, I mean, that's nice. You die. You die, sir! Don't... Don't you push me into that resin, you son of a bitch. Three, five. All right. Pushes away. Awake gives strength to nearby allies. We could just... It doesn't kill you. Which is good. We don't want it to. We want to hit you. Then we want to get you. You are in range of these guys, but I'm not too concerned. We can even throw... Eh, well, maybe not. I don't love... I don't love any of this, honestly. But you're actually... This is not terrible. This is not terrible. If you move here, is that terrible? No. This isn't terrible either. I mean, it's not, I'm not going to say it was like straight up good, but it's not terrible. These guys outsmart, right? They push. Okay, that's actually something we really got to be careful of regarding these. Um, but now this guy doesn't need to move. He's fine. Although charge is really good. I think I just want to take it. This guy can move right here. No, you're not really safe there, though. I think you're safe here. Don't quote me on that. That's I forgot he could move and attack. Does that push, though, when he moves and attacks? I mean, I guess we won't... We'll never know. Gotta kill seven more enemies. And all right, you just, you're just gonna go here. You're just going to go here. Honestly, I'm just going to summon this guy. Put him this direction as well. 
think I'm gonna just call it a day. I did not want that to happen. That was definitely the wrong order. LOL, LOL. Mm, I kind of like you being here, actually. You can't heal this guy, though. Yeah, whatever. Should have cultivated at the very least. Great, right, look at that guy. What a what a wonderful hero. And we could force this guy to only be able to attack our guy. He doesn't really do anything. He's just a 3 5. It's not like he's particularly scary. Alright, this guy can't. He literally can't attack anything besides him. Unless I'm mistaken. This thing is scaring me right now, but. Regarding you. I'm kind of like whatever. Because I want to kill you with means other than... Like, I want to cultivate you and do this stuff, but you can't really get... I can't really get close enough for that. This guy's ranged, but I don't really... I think we're just calling it this turn. We'll heal you. He probably just attacks this guy. What happened? <gasps> did uh, did rocks fall on that thing and break it? Hey, good job. He just killed both those guys. And he got regeneration. Well, I don't think he got it. I think he had regeneration. That's right. You get entombed. You got to be careful there. So we could do the fox. Ping that guy. Ping that guy. What are you doing? Pushes the enemy away? Oh no, I'm terrified. I hope you don't uh, get instantly one shot, nerd. GTFO? GTFO? Uh oh. Wait a second, you're not dead. What happened here? I don't think it's going to matter, but it definitely wasn't my intention. I'll tell you that. Ah, he can't move. Haha, -ha, dummy. I don't want you to entomb my guy. Oh, this guy doesn't do it. Only the... Only specific ones do. Okay. That's good news for me. I mean, yeah, I think we're I think we're good here. I we end up building a, a pretty big advantage, I feel like. Range units are insanely powerful, but there's no doubt they're a sketch as well. Easy. Okay. Like, it was a little confusing for a second there, but I felt like we were doing fine. Um, a, a trailer. Consume blank under yourself to inflict exposure three on nearby units. I think this could be pretty good now. It just doesn't seem that good. I, I don't know. I just, I, I can't convince myself that it's that good. Become hastened. An extra move. I think the defensive stuff seems to be better because if you can survive one more hit, you typically get to do double the damage instead of plus one damage. Um, although it might be different in your case. I'll put it here. And I think I'm going to destroy this. I need to see what it actually does before I... Um, let's do this. Everything, Everything's decked. Stacked.
Mm. You gain fatigued one, but you get plus one strength and plus one shield at the start of each battle. Fatigued one is pretty low for shield one. Like I think because there's only one fight coming up, it's it's questionable whether or not. I assume this is the final floor, mostly because we're been doing this run for like two hours. Let no ally be hit by the exploding amber shell. I don't care about that. Keep in mind that having all your units entombed only means defeat if you have no way of releasing them before the start of your turn. You are Bane. Okay, receives plus two plus zero at the end of its turn. 45 HP. <sighs> Applies fatigue one on dealing damage with attacks and abilities. Cannot be fatigued. Activates the ability on taking damage. After taking 15 total damage, resets its attack. Retreats into an amber shell and summons hollow shapers. Okay. We don't want you. We don't want you yet. I don't even think we want you yet. We want to get some units down, I think. Better get these crystals before it's too late, man. That'd be... Otherwise, oh god, be careful. So what do you actually do, though? What's your, like, your... I don't even... The, that's one issue. I don't even know... What, I don't know his intentions. It looks like they these might be not random. It looks like they might be, like, closing in. I assume this is resin, right? Yeah, okay. He does do six damage, man. Maybe we go like this. We don't have enough. We could we can cultivate here. And throw this guy down there. And he should like live, right? That seven HP threshold seems pretty good. Probably could have should have considered him moving out of the way. If we drip him in resin, does he lose? Or do we just have to break him out? So I kind of like you can come like over here. You look pretty hurt. Wait a second. Adjacent. I thought it was nearby. Okay, okay, okay. So we want to redo this. Thank God they let you just redo shit. It's one, two, three, four. So we can actually do everything that I want to this turn, I think. It'll be one, two, three, four. Right. Yeah, his HP is getting pretty high. We really want to be able to attack him. Not being able to is pretty brutal. So I think healing this guy might be kind of pointless because this guy's attack gets so high. But if we had any range, that would be a different story, you know? I wish we had that fox. And you can hit pretty hard, but it's just not enough. But this is going to be pretty bad, I think, moving forward just in general. So I think we just heal you anyway. Or we get another unit down. I think we use this first. I don't think this is going to be very good, this fight. And we can at least just poke him, I suppose, right? I don't want to attack because I want him to keep wasting his turns. For that exact kind of thing. So now we could hit him. He has to take how much more damage? After taking 15 damage, so he's taken 10. So he might be able to get down that 5 more damage, right? This is 4. 8.
We need 15 more damage. No, no, no. We only need five more damage. We only need five more damage. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Excuse me. What happened? Where, where's my mana? He's not here anymore. And it also took all my mana away. Maybe so we can't instantly kill him. I mean, just stay here, I suppose. Okay. Excuse me. Is the game broken? Is the game broken? Hopefully not, but sometimes they do that. Hopefully not, but sometimes they do. But it's okay. Continue the game. Okay, sorry. So I guess we gotta just redo it again. I don't know. This guy's good. This is good on a ranged unit, which is us. But it's not that good. It's it's strength three. You know, it, it, it's not permanent. Just three damage, essentially. So if we move here, I actually quite like this, right? This guy has to move forward to attack. We could smack him. He's taking nine damage. Right, because he took three. Oh yeah, he's missing nine. So we have to do six more. Which we can pretty easily. I think we just drop these down. This fight's already going to be very different than it was last time. It just based out the fact that it's just minus four, minus zero. Oh, because we're going to reset his stuff, right? There we go. Okay, now what do you do? Destroys all special hexes and deals damage. To all units. How do we prevent this? Cannot be damaged. Destroys all special hexes and deals 15 damage to all units. What? I don't understand the mechanic here. What are we supposed to do about this? Can't be damaged. Will explode in three turns. Fifteen damage. What is the? What is? The, what am I not realizing about how we're supposed to be able to beat this? It feels like an instant guaranteed loss. What happens if I try to attack? Nothing. Can I undo that? Let no ally be hit by the exploding ambush. Does it have a range? 
It doesn't say that it has a range. It says deal 15 damage to all units. I don't understand. Maybe it means, maybe the wording is just terrible. Maybe what it means is it destroys special hexes and it does 15 damage to things on special hexes. And, but is this a special hex? Maybe it's around the special hexes. Maybe, maybe is I, so I know that resin is a special hex, but are these, are these considered special hexes? They don't highlight when I go over them. So I'm assuming no. I'm just going to I'm going to assume but it says and deals damage to all units. I don't want to lose the run because I don't understand the mechanics. Okay, maybe. We need to... Okay, 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 okay. I think I'm getting it. I think we need to... The turn before he explodes, we need to put our units into... In, we need to entomb our own units. And then he will break... Maybe he'll break the hexes and that'll like save us by entombing ourselves because we don't lose unless we don't, we don't necessarily just lose immediately. I don't remember the exact wording of it, but I want to put you here. This is, I'm going to, I, I think this, this makes sense to me. Go and pop that. Also, hello, Chun. I'm now seeing that this could be a little bit of a problem. Kind of like this. Surprisingly. I know this is weird. Okay, maybe we're supposed to just dodge this. Hmm. Oh, you're already dead. I would like you to just leave, I think. I don't think you get a chance to, though. I think you die. Okay, and then we just lose. <laughs> Because, okay, well, that's a very, very, uh, I hate that fight a lot, actually. So, that felt like the one, like, particularly bad fight. So, I guess, I mean, I just made a mistake there, right? But the whole point of the system is, like, this is a roguelike game, and it's, like, based on strategy and stuff. But I had a lot of resources. I wasn't even close to dying, but I basically just, like walked off a cliff, right? And instantly died. Typically things don't just instantly kill you. Typically they actually have to like kick the shit out of you. But I let accidentally let all my guys get entombed, which I had to get them entombed intentionally, but because I didn't time it right, I timed it a turn early by mistake. I instead just lost. I don't know that that fight I think could use a rework. I, re I mean, I now I, I think I understand it a bit better. 
But uh, I still just don't like the design of that fight. Maybe it's like a, I don't know. It, it doesn't that doesn't feel good for a final fight, you know? It feels too like he just instantly kills you, or it's a joke because you got the the mechanics. Um, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just being butt hurt because I lost. But to be er to be fair, the overall the game was pretty easy. Um, but it was uh, it was still a good time. Um, I'll just have to be more careful in that boss fight coming up. So this guy starts with wardens and this guy creates green under nearby units and restores three health to nearby allies. Yeah, what's his uh, item? This guy starts with the seeds, which I really like. This guy starts with gain strength when allies gain strength when they regain health. Okay. Ooh. Deal one damage to an enemy in your LOS. I mean, that's cool, but this actually gives a nearby ally plus one, plus one. Okay, so this guy's like um a scaler. He, he's like, scale your units to be really strong. This thing is just kind of very basic, but it's mostly about poking damage, right? These guys aren't, the stalkers aren't very good. I mean, they're, they're definitely good, but yeah, I really wish I could redo that fight. But, you know, we'll definitely go on standard because overall up to that point was not too difficult. Um, But I think we're going to call it for tonight. I think we'll come back and play Enju next time I play. Either way, guys, thank you so much for Platypuses for Platypus. Despite... You can't see it. He was just sitting there, mouth open. He was just like... Um, anyway, even though I got a little butthurt there at the end, I still had a good time overall. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for Platypuses. For Platypus, I will catch you on the flip side.